Well, hello there, YouTube. Mike Kaylee 7 here. Today is uh, June 6th, 2022. And I am in sport mode. I forgot to put it in rider mode. I think you have to use the phone app to do that. So I will try that when I get to my destination. Perhaps on the way home before I take off. Now the bike's pulling like it should. I was in sport mode. I mean, I listen to me. God. I was in rain mode initially when I was on my way back from the garage that time. And I thought, why is the pickup so lax on this thing? Didn't realize that I had accidentally left it in rain mode when I was trying to figure out how to see the mileage on the bike and I was getting it inspected at the garage. It's funny how if you don't do something for a little while, the memory just kind of goes away, especially for things that are technical. So, um, I guess that's a, a good thing to talk about today is memory. And uh, I'm noticing, not, you know, beyond the typical age-related, I can't think of that guy's name kind of thing. I notice that when uh, I'm learning something new, and I'm really focusing on learning it, I start getting clumsy in other areas of my life. It's kind of kind of like when you're learning a second language. I remember this when I was in grad school, they talked about this. Got to be careful here, there's construction. Okay. When you're learning a second language, um, when you're trying to learn a new structure, let's say you've mastered the present progressive. I am riding my motorcycle right now. And then you're trying to learn a new thing like the conditional. If I were you, I wouldn't do that kind of thing. Like, Mike, if I were you, I would not speed so much. <laughs> Road work ahead. So when you're trying to learn that new structure, you find yourself not being able to do the prison progressive that you had recently learned. That, that uh, kind of goes away for a bit. And you're like, oh my god, I'm backsliding, I'm not learning anything. And then eventually they both come back. Or they, you know, the, the thing you're learning is there, and then the old thing comes back. That's the process of your brain working to uh, store the memory of what it needs to do. And I'm noticing with music, this is happening to me, kind of like a second language. Music is a kind of language, and so I'm learning this new language, and uh, it takes a whole lot more than just simply remembering phraseology and, and spelling and syntax. It's also uh, coordination of your muscles. 
Which I suppose happens in, in language learning too. You, I mean, you're using your muscles in a learning language. You're using your tongue. You're using the muscles in your mouth. If you're learning it, you know, to try to sound like a native speaker. In which case, you know, it takes a lot of coordination to get that sound correctly. Like, eh, for example, um, in or fit. A lot of languages don't have e. Eh. They have e, but they don't have e. Eh. They have a, eh, but they don't have e. Eh. So they end up saying stuff like, um, sit here, please. You know, seat instead of sit. Anyway, so uh, do you guys notice that too? Like when you're learning a new thing, do your other abilities tend to suffer? I get clumsier, I get more absent-minded. I struggle with some things that normally I wouldn't struggle with because I just come off of a, you know, trying to figure out a song or my strumming technique or I'm, I'm back on the baritone saxophone by the way. So there's trying to learn that stuff. So tell me what you think. And if you're interested in seeing my ridiculous musical journey, I've got my Kaylee Sevens musical journey on the YouTubes. Have a look. See what you think. the jump off. I know you guys like the jump off. And I, I don't do it at traffic lights because, well, I haven't stopped at a traffic light yet today. <laughs> I'm not going to stop at a green light and jump off, that's for damn sure. What do you think, huh? Isn't that beautiful? You can't see the dirt. The resolution on this camera, as good as it is, does not show you the dirt. At least it's not as clearly as I can see it. But isn't that a beautiful bike? Ooh, baby. Watch, watch. Are you ready? Can you see any of that dirt now? How about, how about over here? Can you see that right there? Oh, my God! All right. Mike Kately 7, I'll talk to you later.